In this video, I will show you how to run Home Assistant on the Odroid M1. First, let's go to homeassistant.io, then click on Getting Started, Installation, Odroid. Copy the link for the Odroid M1, paste it on a new tab, and the image will start downloading automatically. Once the download is done, open Bellina Etcher, Flash from File, click on the image you just downloaded, select Target, in our case a micro SD card, and hit Flash. Once it's done, we will start getting our hardware ready. Insert the micro SD on the micro SD slot, the RTC battery, and the NVMe on the M2 slot. Next, we will insert the M1 in our nice metallic case, slide the M1 inside the case, and screw both plates in place. Remember, if you buy one of our Odroid M1 Home Assistant bundles, this will come pre-assembled. You will just need to connect the Ethernet cable and the power. The first boot will take quite some time. If Home Assistant port 8123 is not working, Connect your M1 to a monitor and wait till the CLI is ready. Then try using your IPv4 port 8123. Once Home Assistant is prepared, you will be able to create a user and a password. Continue with the onboarding process until you reach the main dashboard. In order to set our NVMe as data disk on Home Assistant, we will go to Settings, System, Storage, click on the three dots in the top right, and select Move Data Disk. In the drop-down, select your NVMe and click Save. Home Assistant will reboot, and it will take a while again, but once it's back, you will see your new storage. See you in the next one.